What is up guys? Welcome to this Reality Decoded short and in short it's short by my standards it may not be necessarily short by the YouTube's new algorithm um, promoting short videos um, standards but nonetheless guys we are going to have a quick and a little brief look at a news article I'm sure you've heard about um, by now and Anthony Fauci, Dr. Anthony Fauci if you uh, want to believe he is in fact a real doctor a little bit like Dr. To Nick Riviera in The Simpsons, um, if you remember, once he was under trial and one of the questions from Lionel Hutz, um, attorney at law, was, Dr. Nick, is it true you are in fact not even a real doctor? Um, at which point, Dr. Nick picked up a water cooler, tossed it through the window and made his way and rapid exit from the courtroom. But we're not here to talk about The Simpsons. We're here to talk about um, Fauci and in particular, this whistleblower that is leaked documents um, linking Fauci to the experiment and death of 44 beagle puppies. Remember that rhetoric? Remember that um, messaging? Because we are um, going to skim past uh, quickly through this uh, little article from New York Post and go and see what happens when you pop 44 puppy, um, beagle puppies rather into an anagram generator. You might be quite shocked at the surprise results that will be generated. But the New York um, Post... Uh, as I said, this is part of the mainstream propaganda delivery um, mechanism, and they are claiming that legislators demand answers for Fauci, um, from Fauci rather, on alleged puppy experiments. Now, sometimes these memetics that you hear being retorted in and around um, uh, social media sites, for example, 40 for beagle puppies may um, sometimes be in actual fact a coded message and um, the coded message might need to be put into uh, a decoder in order to translate that message. Many, many people look at things like numerology and symbology and in particular gematria for coded messages, but not many, many people use the anagram generator as a way to decode code coded messages um but back to the article uh we are looking at uh, before we get into the anagram stuff um fauci is facing calls from a by bipartisan group of legislators to respond to allegations that his National Institutes of Health division provided a grant to a lab in Tunisia to torture and kill dozens of beagle puppies. I don't think it necessarily was just to kill puppies. I think the puppies sort of died as a result. I think that's a little bit of sensationalism. Um, hey, let's torture. You know, I don't think that was the sole purpose. They just set up this fun to torture puppies for fun. <laughs> um, and shits and giggles. I mean, it was, I guess, for some kind of research, if or not the event even took place at all. And we know what they say about, or what I tell you rather, about whistleblowers, that no one blows whistles that aren't meant to be heard and things that leak don't leak that weren't meant to. And there's a reason and purpose for them leaking. And is this purpose a little bit of distraction to start pointing fingers at, at Fauci for being even more of an evil villain than he's playing the part of in contemporary times while providing a coded message to um, maybe some of those triangular elite types. Um, but in a letter to the director of National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, um, Nancy Mace, RS and 23 colleagues, 23, interesting number, two, three, uh, addressed that their grave concerns, grave is something that you dig bodies in, um, about reports of constantly cruel, constantly cruel, three, three, CC, and unnecessary taxpayer funded experiments on dogs understand people the elite see us all as dogs or sheep or some form of livestock or domestic aided animal that just like we can train our dog to do tricks or you can teach a dolphin to jump through a hoop and you can teach a seal to balance a ball on his nose that's pretty much what they're doing to humans except instead 
jumping through hoops, we jump through metaphorical hoops of legislation instead of balancing balls on our noses, we balance the, the, the labour of our employment um, for small personal reward as a, a result of our labour. But according to the documents obtained, the freedom of it, um, via the Freedom of Information Act, Act um, that the taxpayer watchdog group, funny enough, a watchdog group was investigating the deaths of dogs. Now, I'm not going to read every single word of it because I said you've probably heard of it. I did want to point out the two and the three there. And I also wanted to point out a little something here. Here, Now, it took place in Tunisia, which isn't too far away from in Egypt. And I'm not entirely sure if or not at one point Tunisia was under the rule or, or was maybe part of the Egyptian dynasty. And we do know that the Egyptians loved their dogs. There's lots of dogs in the hieroglyphics and statues to dogs. And we do know the elites do seem to have a little bit of an obsession with the ancient Egyptians and maybe some of them even a deeper um, obsession with the ancient Sumerians. Um, but these two dogs here look sort of very, very sacrificial to me and there are kind of three boxes as you can see and two dogs facing opposite directions with their heads in their boxes and you can kind of I don't know if you can see I'll try and put a triangle in at the editing phase to emphasize it but if you look very very careful sort of the, the two dogs and the tails um, kind of do make a little bit of a almost pyramid um, which hopefully you can see highlighted there um, as I, uh, I pop that triangle in for you to highlight it um, but sorry I got distracted there some of the pooches were allegedly and again they're sort of using the word pooches there that's you know imagine sort of in, in a homicide investigation and a couple of females had been murdered and found chopped up behind a, dope, um, a dumpster in, in the, the, the newspaper or the mainstream was saying so a couple of chicks were found behind this dumpster all chopped up seems a little bit um, derogatory and, and disrespectful to the loss of life in a, you know dogs are dogs and, and, and lovable and, and some people find them family members and sort of you know the loss of unnecessary loss of life uh, in this case of dogs uh, it is a little bit distasteful I feel that they used pooches but again is pooches part of the coded messaging uh, but it goes on and on and on to talk about the um, uh, the events and you can almost see here as well in the middle oh sorry about that okay we've got some sort of goings on now that is going to that's all right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but you can almost see there that there that Fauci's arms generate again a little bit of a triangle and down here sort of have some sort of Egyptian style um, decor in the background there and also looks very much like the DNA strand and uh, I'm not sure what sort of uh, in, in behind him there but you can almost make another pyramid with the, the decor in the background in uh, Fauci as, as the centre of that. Um, but as I said, that is pretty much the article uh, about the 44 Beagle puppies. And if or not, you've seen the symbolism that I see there. And maybe, you know, you, <laughs> when your eyes are, are, are sort of blinkered towards a, a, a certain uh, ideology, my ideology is the deep state are involved in an awful lot of the agendas, if not all of the agendas that occupy our daily lives and routines. And they do like to put their symbolology in <laughs> to their, um, you know, Know, hidden in, in, in sort of plain sight that only if you know what to look for you will see it and am I just sort of seeing things that I want to see as a result from <laughs> but my, my, my belief in that uh, is what I'm kind of uh, getting at there but as I said guys that was the article from New York Post there's a whole bunch of articles about this event and there's been a whole bunch of tweets circulating around so without any further ado let's run over to an anagram generator and see exactly what happens when you put 45 for beagle puppies into an anagram generator and then see what words it generates. It's going to be quite shocking. Hold on. 